Hello boys and girls. Guess what time it is? It's story time. Hello everyone. This is Miss Marcia bringing to you another story. So let's sing together. It's story time, it's story time. You haven't got to pay a dime. If you want to have some fun, get a comfy seat and sit right down. Now listen very carefully, for you can learn as much as me. Make believe in what you hear, these stories I shall read to you. La 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 And the story today is... The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Kahl. Now, I read a few other stories from Eric Kahl before. He's a popular children's author. So let's see why this ladybug is so grouchy and let's see what's going to happen in the story. What do you think is going to happen in the story? Okay, let's find out. Keep those thoughts and let's find out to see if you're correct. The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Cow. It was nighttime and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less show of itself. Ah, oh, you're not big enough for me to fight. It said, then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself, itself up and flew away. Where is it going? At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. So right here. Hey, you! Want to fight? said the grouchy ladybug. If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you! Want to fight? said the grouchy ladybug. If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. So that's the stag beetle. At eight o'clock, it came up across a praying mantis. Here it is. Hey, you, want to fight, said the grouchy ladybug. If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. That's the sparrow right there. Hey, you, want to fight, said the grouchy ladybug. If you insist, said the sparrow, opening a sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, 
Hey, you! Want to fight? said the grouchy ladybug. If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you! Want to fight? said the grouchy ladybug. If you insist, said the skunk, stack, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. What do you think the skunk was going to do to it? Mm -hmm. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor as a big snake. Hey, you, want to fight, said the grouchy ladybug. Do you think the grouchy ladybug can fight a big snake? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. What is it going after? Oh, yes, it's good. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, want to fight, said the grouchy ladybug. If you insist, said the hyena, laughing airily, showing his teeth. <laughs> oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Hmm, it's meeting some really big animals. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, wanna fight, said the grouchy ladybug. If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. A bigger one still. What is that? Yes, at three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, want to fight, said the grouchy ladybug. If you insist, said the rhino, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. What animal next? Let's see. Ooh, yes, at four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, want to fight, said the grouchy ladybug. If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusk. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Do you think all these animals are big enough? Are they all bigger than that ladybug? At five o'clock, it met a whale. Wow, you know whales are really huge. Hey, you, want to fight, said the grouchy ladybug, but the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Do you think the whale heard it? Probably not, it's so tiny. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers. The flipper? Hey, you, want to fight? Do you think the flipper is gonna answer it? No, but it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap. Bam! What do you think happened to the ladybug? <gasps> that it flew across the sea and across the land. See? At six o'clock, the loud, grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it started. Ah, oh, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon, 
all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came to dance around the moon. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you next time around on Storytime with Miss Marcia. See you later.